Hey games, your buddy Platt here with a short little video today. Today we're doing a homebrew tasting. We're going to be trying our apple port that I made about a month or so ago. A uh, real little quick recap. Uh, the concept was I want to make a apple version of port wine. For those of you not familiar with port wine or fortified wines in general, um, a fortified wine is uh, a wine that has additional grape spirit added to it or it's fortified with additional grape spirit or distilled wine. Uh, there are two major types of fortified wines. Now, there's more than that, but two major types that most people know, sherry and port. Sherry is the drier version of the two. Sherry, is the way it's made is you will do a full fermentation on a wine, usually red wine, fully fermented out, then add the grape spirit. Sherries tend to be on the drier end. Port wine, you'll do the same thing, but you'll halt fermentation, usually somewhere in the middle, and you'll halt it by adding the grape spirit, stop the yeast activity, and then you'll age, and because you did not complete fermentation, the yeast did not use up all the sugar, ports tend to be sweeter. Uh, I'm a, a port guy but between the two, even though uh, I have lately tried some sherries and, and and are more open. I guess my palate is less sweet than it used to be, and, and so the sherry's more open to, but I've always liked a good port, so I thought I would try to make the apple equivalent of it. Um, so what I did is I took some uh, grape juice. Uh, I didn't use apple cider, because we're not, I guess I could make a hard cider, stop the fermentation, whatever. I just used, uh, just regular apple juice. Again, this is kind of my first trial of this, so I just went straight juice. Uh, we had an original gravity of 1070, halted fermentation at 1035. So through fermentation, we're able to get roughly 4.6, 4.7% alcohol by volume. Um, most of the ciders, hard ciders, uh, apple wine, whatever term you want to use, that's going to make, we're just going to be in that 8 to 10 uh, percent alcohol by volume range, so 4.6, about halfway. Uh, then I added um, unaged apple spirit. I used a a German, uh, I think I had a, a German, what's called an Obelweiser, uh, <laughs> Obelweiser. Uh, basically, again, it's just unaged apple spirit. Over there, they would use the term schnapps. Uh, here in the U.S., we add a lot of sugar to our schnapps, so it's a little different, but it's just basically unaged apple brandy is the best way to put it, that I add it to our uh, partially fermented grape juice. I threw in a few of these uh, wood or oak cubes found at a uh, homebrew shop. Uh, you can use wood screws. If you have a small oak barrel, that'd be preferable. Uh, generally, smaller batches, what I've found is one month of aging usually equals one year in a bigger barrel. So we're, we've roughly aged just roughly a year. So, but I'm very interested to see how much sweetness came through because again, we did stop fermentation early. Uh, how much of the oak chips I'm going to pick up. Um, you know, how much of that unaged apple spirit am I gonna get. Uh, ABV wise, rough estimates, 19 to 20% alcohol by volume total for this with the, you know, four and a half I got for fermentation, another 15 from the addition, the addition of spirit. Um, so very interesting to see how this works. Again, I've always liked ports and I've always thought, well, maybe we can make a variation of this theme. So I, I wanted to give this a try. So let's see how our apple port came out. Uh, a little mess there, that's all right. All right, smells interesting. Let's give her a try. Oh my gosh, that's nice. Yeah, we're on to something. I, I do get a little bit of the oak. I do. And it, and it does taste, it reminds me a lot of pork. The additional viscosity, but I really do notice that wood. Um, there's sweetness there. Um, but it's not too sweet. Um, 
and it's not overly viscous like some older ports. Now, maybe if I put this in a barrel, aged it six months, a year, what have you, you know, again, through, through the angel shares, maybe we'd pick up a little more viscosity, what have you, but, uh, yeah, that turned out nice. There's a little, almost a bit of sophistication to it, which I, uh, generally is not something I'm real versed in, but, man, that, uh, that has possibilities. I, I think, well, I'm pretty sure I'll be doing this again, or, or we'll work on this concept in future videos. Um, I'm interested to play around with the age, the oak part, I guess, or the aging. Uh, maybe adding more cubes, maybe throwing in a barrel, maybe trying wood chips, uh, maybe trying different charring levels. Um, but I think we're on to something. I think this is a concept uh, that we can definitely improve on. Yeah, man, I tell you what, this gives me a couple other ideas because, again, I really like how the apple's playing with the wood. Um, what would it be like if we tweak the fermentation, or on the fermentation end, would we do, you know, you can go a million places with cider, you know, as far as different types of cider, uh, you know, what would this taste like if we aged a sizer? Something like that. So, um, now again, when you get to that, now you're doing full fermentation, so it's a little different, but, uh, yeah, this is a uh, this is definitely interesting. I think I think we got uh, something interesting here. Something I definitely could drink uh, an after dinner drink. Um, yeah, I think we got something cool. I would like your guys' feedback uh, on this particular project. Maybe you know if you have a suggestion on how you tweak it. Would you just age it longer? Would you? Uh, you know, maybe halt the fermentation at a different place, what have you. If you have any ideas or whatever, because I'm definitely going to do this again. I, like I said, I think might be on to something here. Um, definitely a fun concept to play with. And again, great thing about this step is, all right, well, how about if I ferment this and then fortify it with this or that, you know, uh, what have you. Definitely uh, can go some places with this concept. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section. Or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.